The 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro is well underway, with quite a bit of games still left to be played. With all the excitement surrounding these games, there's also quite a bit of disasters that everybody is talking about. So in this episode, I'm going to take a look at a few unfortunate incidents that happened so far at this year's Olympics. <laughs> So to kick things off, let's take a look at the Olympic gold medalist champion, Ryan Lochte. Variety.com reports that Ryan and three other Olympic swimmers were robbed by fake police officers in Rio de Janeiro. Ryan later confirmed the story Sunday morning on August 15th, 2016. And USA Today quoted Ryan saying, We got pulled over in a taxi and these guys came out with a badge. A police badge. No lights, no nothing, just a police badge. And they pulled us over. They pulled out their guns and told the other swimmers to get down on the ground. <laughs> they got down on the ground. I refused. I was like, we didn't do anything wrong. So I'm not getting down on the ground and then the guy pulled out his gun he cocked it put it to my forehead and said get down and I put my hands up and I was like whatever he took our money he took my wallet he left my cell phone and he left my credentials now news outlets like the Daily Mail Variety and Independent.com were all over this story and they all reported that the International Olympic Committee spokesperson Mark Adams called the story absolutely untrue earlier that Sunday Ryan's mother on the other hand reported the story to USA Today where Fox then later picked up the story and from what it is that I understand the incident is still being investigated now this one is a sad story German coach and canoe silver medalist Stefan Hens tragically passed away after a horrific car accident near the Olympic Park. Daily Mail reported that the 35 year old coach was surrounded by his family at the time of his death. Reports claim that he was left in critical condition after a heart attack following his crash. Now reports continue to say that members of the German Olympic delegation were also seen outside the hospital. After visiting Stefan following his surgery, he was then placed under observation in the hospital's intensive care ward. And according to the hospital, when that happened, he was still in critical condition. Now it said that the accident happened earlier early Friday morning on August 12, 2016, as he was returning to the athlete's village in Rio de Janeiro. Now the reports continue to say that Germany will commemorate Stefan's death and that the German flag will be flown at half staff at all the Olympic sites in Rio. Now about the accident, the International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach was quoted saying, Our sympathy is with the family of Stefan Hens, his friends and all the German Olympic team. On August 15th, 2016, shots were fired back and forth between the police and a set of bank robbers. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bank robbers. And this happened at a bank near the Olympic Park in Rio de Janeiro. Now, it's reported that many individuals thought that what was going down was actually a terrorist attack. And Rio police held the visitors inside the Batter Garden Mall for about 30 minutes, and they were held there for their safety, as police went around and hunted for the gang who attempted to hold up the bank. And it's said that police eventually shot and killed one of the bank robbers, while the other one was wounded and taken to the hospital. Now, it's said that earlier, the gang walked into the that bank, which was located in the shopping center, demanding money and brandishing weapons. Now, it's also reported that Rodrigo Gomez, a visiting shopper at the mall, at the time of the bank when the shooting began, was reported saying, people started to run in the opposite direction off the shots and tried to hide inside shops, which were all quickly closing their doors because of what was happening. Rodrigo also stated that when he threw himself on the floor, he was able to see one of the gunmen shooting and said that there were at least 12 shots fired. Now, the gunshots apparently went off in the morning and were heard in the streets and the hotels that were nearby. And I guess the story is still developing since it's very recent. Recent. And right now, this whole thing is still being investigated. Alright, so these are some of the things that have been happening at this year's Olympics. And I came across several other unfortunate situations as well. Now, there's quite a bit of other things that happened at this year's Olympics. Some of them actually got swept underneath the rug, and others are making international news. So, I want to know from you guys, though, what do you guys think about, like, all the craziness that's been happening at this year's Olympics? And what do you think the chances are of Rio hosting games of this size in the future? Now, I know they hoped for the best, but... There's just been quite a bit of crazy things happening at this year's Olympics. So anyways, go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And just like that, there goes another episode. So if you're new to this channel, do me a big favor and smash the subscribe button. You know I love your comments, so leave your comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want to find me on social media, I'm available on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Google+. And I'm also on Instagram. And if you guys could also do me a big favor, visit www.theyoutubebuzz.com where you can then click on the store button and purchase your very own YouTube Killed TV t-shirt and that's pretty much it this video is a wrap i'll catch you guys in the next episode